Let me ask you a very good question. What is the easiest thing you can do to improve your overall health? Take a wild guess. Believe it or not, it's sleep. Sleep regulates your mood, your hormones, improves weight loss, heart health, stress, prevents diabetes, you name it. I don't think there's a single part in the human body that isn't benefited by quality sleep every single day. In other words, it's extremely important. And this is exactly why you need to find new ways to improve that resting phase at night. This has the power to transform your body every single day, including with disease and aging. So in today's video, I'm reveal some of the best tips you can follow to improve sleep quality at home and see the benefits in every organ of your body. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need all important quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay till the end of this video, I'm going to share some tips and video links related to this topic. A good night's sleep is just as important as regular exercise and a healthy diet. Research shows that poor quality sleep has immediate negative effects over our hormones, brain function, and even physical performance. It can also cause, for example, weight gain, increase disease risk for both adults and children of any type. If you sleep well, on the other hand, good quality sleep can help you eat less, exercise better, and be healthier overall. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal some of the best tips you can follow to improve quality sleep at home and see the benefits in every organ of your body. Number one, increase your sun exposure during the day. What on earth does sun exposure have to do with sleep? And does it really matter? Well, yes, it does. You see, your body has a natural time-keeping clock known as the circadian rhythm or biological clock. This biological clock affects your brain, your body, your hormones, and it helps you stay awake and tells your body when it's time to go to bed and go to sleep. The natural sunlight or bright light during the day helps us keep that circadian rhythm healthy. This improves our sleep at night, our daytime energy, as well as our mental health and mental clarity. Everything very important and not something many people know. Just so you have an idea, a study in people with insomnia says that daytime bright light exposure improves quality sleep and duration. It also reduces the time it takes for people to fall asleep by 83%. Very impressive and that's why you need more light during the day. If you need something natural that can not only help you fall asleep but also improve your quality sleep at night, look for Quantum Calm, Melatonin and 5-HTP from Fineland at DrLandivar.com. Number two, reduce your blue light exposure. We all have to understand that exposure to sunlight is healthy, but blue light at nighttime has that opposite effect. Once again, due to the effect of the circadian rhythm, being exposed to blue light that most oftentimes we, we see it come from electronic devices, tricks our brain into thinking it's still daytime. Being exposed to blue light from your phones, from your tablets, etc., reduces the production of hormones like melatonin, which help us relax to get enough sleep. As a matter of fact, our smartphones and computers are the number one factor responsible for worsening that sleep habit, just by being exposed to blue light. So what I suggest you do is limit time use of your cell phones at night, or turn off that blue light emission from the screen, which you can do. If you need something natural that can improve your sleep quality, look for 5-HTP and melatonin from Fineland at DrLandivar.com. Number three, make sure your nerves are functioning. I've seen something rather, I say odd, maybe curious with regards to sleep, especially in people who are over 30 years of age. For some odd reason, nerve damage sometimes can happen and present itself in people who also experience from insomnia and sleep disorders. I've discovered that optimizing nerve repair can be very important using specific supplements. It improves sleep quality like no way you've ever imagined. And what I'm telling you is a secret, something that I've discovered with my patients. Elderly people, for example, who can't sleep, see their problems disappear just by taking something that can repair their nerves. 
something like Neuromatrix from Finland, which you can find at drlandivar.com. Some of the ingredients contained in this formula are specifically designed for nerve damage repair, and that simple act of improving their function changes the life of these individuals and their sleep quality. If you're having trouble sleeping, I suggest you try it. You can find Neuromatrix from Finland at drlandivar.com. Number four, exercise regularly, but not close to bedtime. Exercise is one of the best science-backed ways, if you want, to improve sleep quality and health. Physical activity can enhance all those aspects of sleep and then reduce those symptoms of insomnia. One study in older adults determined that exercise nearly halved the amount of the time needed to fall asleep. In people with severe insomnia, exercise offered more benefit than drugs themselves. It reduces the time to fall asleep by 55% and anxiety by 15% while increasing that total sleep time by 18%. In other words, in every aspect, exercise is extremely important with sleep or with regards to sleep. Now, although daily exercise is key for a good night's rest, it's important that you exercise always in the morning. If you activate that nerve function at, in the afternoon or at night, there might be problems after when you try, when you're trying to go to bed. So remember, exercise, but only in the morning, not in the afternoon if possible. Number five, try magnesium. Not many people know that not being able to sleep could also mean there's a magnesium deficiency. The lack of magnesium contributes to anxiety, stress, and episodes of insomnia. Now, there are several ways of how magnesium can improve sleep quality at night, and one of them is by increasing the concentration of something called GABA. GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter important in nerve relaxation and very crucial if you want to go to bed and sleep at night. People who have low concentrations of GABA have anxiety and stress issues that lead to problems with sleep. So you might want to try magnesium from time to time and see if it works for you. It takes a while, obviously, maybe a couple days or weeks to have that effect, but you should definitely try it. If you need an excellent magnesium formula, it contains the three best types of magnesium found in nature for the human body and sleep. Look for Magnesite from Finland at Dr. Landivar.com. Number six, avoid naps and stay consistent with your sleep and wake cycle. Now, while a short power nap can be beneficial, long or irregular napping during the day has a negative effect on your sleep. Sleeping in the daytime confuses your internal clock, your internal biological clock, meaning it may struggle to sleep at night. And the same thing happens if you don't have that same schedule every day. The body doesn't know or really know when it's time to go to bed or time to wake up. There has to be something specific, a very, very organized schedule that you have every single day in order for your biological clock to work right. So be careful. Keep your sleep with a tight schedule and make sure you don't overdo your napping or any time of resting during the day. And how about the channel begins with a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below. We'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease, visit drlandivar.com. And right over here, check out these other videos related to stock and value information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.